But on that day, on the day of resurrection, you will see those who lied against Allah, their faces will be darkened. Is there not hell and abode for the arrogant ones? So those who were arrogant, those who lied about Allah, those who did not follow His uh, commandments, who did not stick to the true belief, they will be humiliated basically. And we know that uh, humiliation is something that uh, human beings do not like, whether it's uh, being humiliated by uh, you know, family members or uh, the, the employer or friends. Humiliation is something which uh, is not even a good uh, act which a Muslim should do to others. In general, human beings don't like getting humiliated. But when a person, he does things which are deserving hellfire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will humiliate him on the day of resurrection. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will darken their faces and they will be humiliated in utter loss. Number two is that those who have lost, they will be given their book in the left hand. And this is what is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Haqqa. Also uh, that after they've been given the book in their hands, it will be said, seize him and fetter him, then throw him in the blazing fire, then fasten him with a chain whereof the length is 70 cubits. So the losers, they are given their records in the left hand. In another words, we also come to know that they are given their records from the backside. So, you know, that they don't want to show it to anyone. Like we can imagine if someone, you know, he failed and he got his report card or he failed maybe his uh, driving test or whatever. The person does not want to show it to others. He, he wouldn't like others to see any he's failed or he, he didn't make it. Similarly, on the day of resurrection, we will hide what has been in their book. And when they're given the news, the tidings of hellfire, then they will hide that from others as well.